after the siege and mining of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Rosatom became a terrorist company. But so far, it hasn't been under any sanctions. In mid-April, the German Federal Minister of Economics approached the European Commission with a proposal to impose restrictions on Russia's civilian nuclear sector as part of the next package of sanctions. Such restrictions should already be included in the next, the 12th EU sanction package, Lithuanian President Gitanis now said as said. I keep repeating that Rosatom must be punished because it is unacceptable the way they act, the way they threaten the whole Europe, in particular in the context of the Zaporizhia NPP. They are also responsible for numerous violations of safety standards at the Ostrovets NPP in Belarus. These are reasons why sanctions should also be imposed on members of Rosatom's board. Gitanas Naoseda, president of Lithuania, from a statement before the EU leaders meeting in Brussels. Ukraine has repeatedly called for sanctions against Rosatom. Yermak Makfeil's group drafted a detailed plan for these restrictions back in November 2022. According to the head of the Ukrainian presidential office last year, Rosatom's portfolio of overseas orders totaled $200 billion. These funds provide additional opportunities for Russia to finance the war against Ukraine. And now another serious threat has emerged. Russia has already technically prepared everything for a terrorist attack on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, said the president of Ukraine during a joint press conference with Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez. Volodymyr Zelensky has called on the EU to impose sanctions on Rosatom. We already need to start working on the 12 sanctions package. Pedro Sanchez and I started talking about these sanctions today. Ukraine does not understand why sanctions have not yet been imposed on Rosatom and its executives. Representatives of this company continue to occupy the Zaporizhia NPP and put our common security at risk. The sanctions against Rosatom should have been imposed immediately after Russia occupied ZNPP on March 4, 2022. Energy expert Volodymyr Melchenko believes what Rosatom does at ZNPP is blackmail. It is a violation of all basic principles of nuclear safety, which are defined by the IAEA. Our Western partners were not ready and are not quite ready now to accept serious sanctions against Rosatom for a long time. Nevertheless, statements about the start of sanctions pressure, we need to understand this clearly, are a very important symbolic sign. Vladimir Omelchenko, director of energy programs at the Razumkov Center in a union news agency publication. The main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said the Russian occupants are gradually leaving the Zaporizhia MPP territory. Among the first to leave were three Rosatom managers. The specialists who signed a contract with the Russian company were advised to evacuate. Ukraine's president is convinced that now world leaders must exert firm pressure on Russia to prevent a disaster at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stenhelov, UATV. News.